When the moon is already visible in the sky, is there a need to jump through hoops to point it out to people? No, it becomes naturally seen by everyone. If a mega bull run will become like this visible moon, it is likely that it will happen soon. However, thousands of questions about when a bull run will surface in the crypto market have been strolling through social media. Long-term holders are getting tired of remaining resilient and hopeful, and almost everyone holds a grudge over their crypto portfolios. Since each profitable Bitcoin cycle has been longer than the one before it, the relevance of the four-year rhythm was gradually fading. Davis believed that the price of Bitcoin will peak in 2022 due to the extended cycles, but dips in the price of Bitcoin have since replaced the predicted peaks. The crypto influencer also supported an upgrade to the Ethereum network, saying that the switch to a proof-of-stake protocol sounded too good to be true and could spark a quick bull run. However, this has not been the case, and the Ethereum merge has not significantly changed the price of Ethereum. However, the crypto market has always been like that, and occasionally, the real estate of cryptocurrency needs to be suspended in order to please investors and encourage long-term growth. Yes, 2021 was a fantastic year, and it was only natural for investors to become more optimistic about 2022. But expectations are not a match for the renown of cryptocurrencies since most of the variables that can spark a bull run have not been uncovered. There is much to tell from history. The cost of Bitcoin is falling. After a chief executive of a cryptocurrency exchange warned that anything could happen during the current crypto winter, some people predicted the Fed would soon cause a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency priced bull run during a podcast. Ethereum is on the verge of an earthquake that could cause severe havoc, and Cardinal is fighting against investor fear and price dumps. A significant halt will occur once the Fed's steep rate inclines have achieved their goal of lowering price inflation, according to Abra CEO Bill Barr. In order to lower inflation, Jerome Powell has pledged to be willing to hike borrowing costs as high as necessary. As the money supply starts to grow significantly as a result of the Fed's pause and X expectations in the bond market that we will return to the kind of downtrend channel that interest rates have been in for the last three decades, I think it's really going to be game on for stocks and cryptocurrencies. The market is likely to rise above its current level over time, especially since the Fed is unlikely to stay on the sidelines if things get really bad, but according to the Cardona founder there is a perfect strategy to heal, with Bart predicting the long pause to occur in October and extend to 2023. However, it can get even worse and stretch you to the breaking point well over time. In a video discussion with Cheeky Cryptocurrency, Charles Hoskinson suggested that the financial invocation legislation provided by the U.S. is potential of sparking a gigantic bull crypto market run that can help the values of top cryptocurrencies surge above their regular price threshold. Hoskinson referred to this tactic as a crucial component of the domain that is adequate to launch a massive bull run. If the Financial on Vacation Act is approved by the U.S. government, according to Hoskinson, it will play a crucial role in sparking a massive bull run that will propel the value of other cryptocurrencies. It would also enable blue-chip investors to invest large sums of money into the cryptocurrency markets and help mitigate some regulatory risk associated with investing in the digital asset space. I have experienced seven bear markets since I entered the cryptocurrency space, and this current market is no different. It may last 18 months, 2 years, or it may end at the end of the year, depending on how things shake out, but if America passes the Financial Invocation Act, we will likely witness a mega bull market because a significant amount of new capital would enter and all of the regulatory risk associated with cryptocurrencies would vanish. The U.S. government recently enforced efforts to draft a comprehensive that actively aims at managing the cryptocurrency sector activities with extreme precision. Of course, digital assets have the potential to propel innovation in new and revolutionary ways, but with the market volatility providing a proper regulatory framework is essential for the industry. According to Charles Hawkins, CBDCS are the most harmful type of drug. New approaches to monetary policy according to him, CBDCs are not crypto assets, they may appear to be so, but they are not, and he emphasized that he is never going to support them in his entire life. He also explained that it is a system that is establishing a monopoly and is skewing people's financial autonomy. To support his points, it is also capable of emptying people's wallets in a flash. 
he presented a scenario that put ethnic groups in the spotlight and claimed that, in the event that a government were to control a CDDC and an ethnic group oppressed that group, that group would have the ability to stop the supply in their digital wallets, or, to put it another way, they could empty their wallets in seconds. Is Charles Hoskinson always correct? His defenses are valid, though they have always rested on a small amount of criticism. He has most recently engaged in a Twitter argument with the most recent improvement that had a significant influence on Cardano was the Vassal Hard Fork. The upgrade is considered bullish for ADA even though the general crypto market correction has overshadowed its influence on its price. According to Charles Hoskinson, people can let you down, but the point of decentralized projects like Cardano is to create a system that drives trust. ADA new capabilities include Node and CLI support for reference inputs, line atoms, and reference scripts as well as a new Plutist cost model. Human failures, the whole point of laborers of Cardano and all these other projects has always been to take things where we can't afford for people to let us down our money, our privacy, our life, and our liberty put them in the hands of agents who can never let us down by design, he said. He has assured the Cardinal community that he intends to press on with the necessary work, but the advancement of that work is tied to the acceptance of his opinions about 